All right, so this video is going to explain our uh, one rep max formula, and uh, it's just going to give the whole uh, uh, overview of how it works in Team Builder. So just to be clear, when you go to Coach Tools and you add an exercise, uh, and you track that exercise for a one RM, so for example, back box squat, this is being tracked for one RM. This means that a formula will take place to create a predicted one RM whenever this exercise is completed by an athlete. So let's take a look at that. If I go to the calendar, and I add in an exercise, and I add in the back uh, or the box back squat, and then I say add three sets of six. Whatever takes place on that last set of six, Team Builder will have a formula looking to create a new 1RM. Um, and if that new 1RM is higher than the current 1RM, then future percentages will be based off, that, off of that newer, higher 1RM. Now, if you want this to happen, great, it's on by default. However, if you do not want this to happen, you can do a couple of things. The first thing is to disable max tracking when you program that exercise. This is obviously only turning off the formula for this one instance, not future exercises. If you want to take a 1RM and just lock it in place, you can do that as well. The way to do that is to go to workout tools and go to maxes and PRs. And you'll have to do this for each athlete one at a time. So for example, if I wanted to go to Scott Damon, and let's say that Scott Damon on his back squat um, set a new max recently, and this new max was just a little bit low. Let's say that these last two maxes, 155 and 135, were low, and I do not want him working off of those 1RMs. Instead, I want him working off of this higher back squat uh, set earlier, so that was set in February. So what I would do in that case is I would actually go back and find that 1RM that I think is more appropriate, and I would click Set as Max, and that would specifically set that one as the max to base the 1RM percentages off of in future exercises. Now, that formula is still going to be running in the background. The way to prevent that max from being changed would actually be to go and click lock. Once I lock that into place, then the formula will turn off and nothing will supersede this max that you just set as a max and locked into place. So that's how we work with the 1RM formula. Uh, a few more things. If you're going to Coach Tools and going to Reporting and you want to run a max report, we actually give you an option to include the manually entered maxes, which are entered by you as a coach, or to include the workout generated maxes, which are generated by that formula. So you get to toggle the formula on and off as much as you want um, during uh, your experience with Team Builder. Oh,